Hello and welcome to Story Skeptic. I recently watched Cinema Paradiso, uh, one of Italy's best films. It's a cradle to crypt film, meaning it follows a character from child to teens to a grown up, sometimes even an old person, and then the crypt. Think of movies like Forrest Gump, Life of Pi, Mishima, A Life in Four Chapters, and even the reverse from Crypt to Cradle with the incredible story of Benjamin Button. So those type of films, that's my thoughts this week. Cinema Paradiso is also a heartwarming film who celebrates a unique friendship, love and cinema. When the movie is divided into these three parts, as a kid, as a young adult and a grown up. And they're kind of linked with these three themes, friendship, love and cinema. I really liked the first part when he he was a kid and it's it's really good and it's just the the acting and the chemistry this little kid has with this old cinema projectionist it's just lovely to watch and the first part of this movie could have been the whole movie for my taste and this is kind of what i think is the problem with cradle to crypt movies because it it's the first part of the film and it outshines the rest of the movie and that got me thinking about Cradle to Crypt films, that it must be incredibly difficult to write, structure, edit, make work seamlessly. It's a real balancing act. You need to make sure that all the different stories through the character's life is kind of equally engaging, or the next one is more interesting than the last one to keep the pacing going. And another challenge is kind of the obvious. It's when they change from actor to actor to to transition from one stage to another. This can be tricky because the actor needs to look the same, act the same, but still they're they're grown a lot, so they're not the same. No one is the same as they were when they were 10 and 30 years old. So it's almost like establishing a new character with just a lot of backstory we know about. But the filmmaker has to convince the audience to like that person again. We need to get that empathy going. It can be done quite seamlessly. And uh, in the case with uh, Benjamin Button, they they just use Brad Pitt through the whole movie and just use technology to get away with it. I think that's the best thing to do, but it relies on expensive technology. So that said, I really like these types of movies. If I don't like the main characters, I know the rest of the film is going to be quite boring because you just follow that person but if it's good if it's like Forrest Gump you really care for this man it's just often a joy to follow their whole life Uh, and then they have the advantage of just building and building on this main character until the climax of the film the theme is often something on life itself something thematic about living a life what it's all about and And then you get those nuggets of wisdom like... Or from Forrest Gump. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So that's it for this week's video. And I'm curious, what do you guys think about these types of movies? like them you don't like them let me know and i'll see you next week